In 2017, then 16-year-old Texas rapper Tay K, born Tamor McIntyre, jumped bail after being charged with capital murder and went on the run. The burgeoning artist was on the run for three months until June 30th, 2017, when he was apprehended by police on the same day the video for the hit viral song The Race debuted. On the record, which was initially released the day after the rapper's 17th birthday on June 17, 2017, Tay K raps about going on the lam to escape the murder charges against him. Despite having a small music catalog and dropping just nine songs on SoundCloud prior to the cops apprehending him, Tay K was more popular than ever due to art imitating life with the race. The song debuted at number 70 on the Billboard Hot 100. Even artists like Lil Yachty, Tyga, and Fetty Wap made their own unofficial remixes. Tay K is currently behind bars in the Tarrant County Jail in Texas and is on trial for the murder of 21-year-old Ethan Walker. The charges stem from a botched home invasion in 2016. Police believe Tay K, along with six other people, planned to rob 19-year-old Zachary Belote. Belote's roommate, 21-year-old Ethan Walker, died during the robbery. On July 26, 2016, Tay K and six accomplices arrived at Belote's and Walker's home in Mansfield, Texas. The other defendants include Ariana Barat, Megan Holt, Latherin Merritt, Sean Robinson, and Jalen Bell, and a third girl who has not been identified because she was 16 when the murder took place. The group allegedly planned to steal Belote's drugs and money. Megan Holt testified that the juvenile who was romantically linked to Belote, the intended target, was only leading him on to advance the robbery plans. The three women entered the home under the guise they were reportedly there to hang out with Belote. Eventually, Tay K, Latherian Merritt, Sean Robinson and Jalen Bell barged into the home to put their scheme into action. While some of the men were reportedly armed with guns, Tay K allegedly was not. According to Holt, Tay K flipped over a couch shouting, where's the work, while looking for drugs. Both Belote and Walker were shot in the robbery. While Belote survived, Walker was hit in the stomach by Merritt, ultimately killing the young man. Belote and Walker's family subsequently sued Tay K. They're seeking more than $1 million in damages from the rapper's profits from a record deal he signed with 88 Classic. Following the incident, five of the seven defendants were found guilty or reached plea deals with the prosecutors. Merritt went to trial and received a life sentence. Holt was sentenced to 20 years and Barat to 25. Robinson pled guilty to a murder charge and received 40 years, while Bell pled guilty to two counts of aggravated robbery and was sentenced to 30 years in prison. Tay trial began on July 16, 2019. He pleaded guilty to two counts of aggravated robbery by threats and not guilty to the capital murder charge. He is the last of the defendants in the case to stand trial. Jeff Kearney, one of Tay defense lawyers, told jurors in an opening statement that the rapper agreed to participate in the robbery and accepted responsibility. However, the lawyer argues that evidence will not support the conclusion Tay would or should have anticipated that Lather and Merritt, quote, was going to go in and intentionally kill him for no reason, intentionally kill Ethan Walker. According to the Fort Worth Star-Telegram, New Jersey fugitive investigator George Gear testified that Tay K told authorities that he had swallowed a bottle of pills and was hearing voices in his head after he was captured in Elizabeth, New Jersey in 2017. The rapper was taken to a local hospital for evaluation and the results were negative. Gear testified in court, after results came back, while we're waiting, he advised the nurse or the doctor that he was hearing voices. Gear testified that Tay then underwent a psychiatric evaluation and was kept in a psych ward for a day and a half with sheriff's deputies on guard. Tay was eventually released and booked into the juvenile detention center. Mo Gungat, a New York-based lawyer, weighs in on Tay current legal situation. Tay lawyer is going with this defense, and the defense is that Tay did not know that Lateria Merritt was going to intentionally shoot the victim. It's the only defense because there's a bunch of eyewitnesses and there's a bunch of people who have taken plea bargains who've given testimony. And the testimony makes absolutely clear that you, Tay were in there, that y'all tried robbing this kid, and that you guys had guns on you. So at that point, you can't really defend an aggravated robbery charge. They got you dead to rights. It's the same situation you saw in the El Chapo case. On July 19th, 2019, the jury found 19-year-old Tay K guilty of murder in the death of Ethan Walker. Jurors also found the rapper guilty of aggravated robbery in connection with the robbery and shooting of Zachary Belote. However, he survived. 
Over the course of two days, the jury deliberated about four hours before returning its verdict. Now, Tay-K's trial in connection to the death of Ethan Walker will continue to determine sentencing for the murder conviction and three aggravated robbery convictions. Tay-K faces 5 to 99 years, or life in prison, on each conviction. In addition to the murder conviction, Tay-K is also facing charges for two more crimes. On April 23rd, 2017, while on the run from police, authorities believe Tay-K robbed, shot, and killed 23-year-old photographer Mark Salvador at a Chick-fil-A in San Antonio, Texas. According to witnesses, multiple men were seen arguing in a black SUV. Police say the men robbed Salvador of his backpack, which contained camera equipment, before he exited the vehicle and began screaming for help. Salvador ended up jumping on top of the car before one of the passengers, believed to be Tay-K, got out and shot him. The group then fled the scene, leaving Salvador to die. Salvador's family has filed a $1 million wrongful death lawsuit against Tay-K. Police also claim Tay-K assaulted a 65-year-old man at a park in Arlington, Texas. Tay-K faces aggravated assault charges for that incident. Oni Pepe, 65, accused Tay-K of assaulting him on May 25, 2017, while the rapper was on the run from police. Pepe has also filed a lawsuit against Tay-K and alleges that the rapper approached him from behind with a gun and demanded his wallet while at Cravens Park in Arlington, Texas. The suit claims, quote, Tay-K then savagely beat the defenseless 65-year-old, leaving him unconscious with multiple broken bones and a brain bleed. Tay-K allegedly dragged Mr. Pepe's body off the trail and left him for dead in the woods. While Tay-K had a trial for his capital murder case in the death of Ethan Walker, he has not yet faced trial for the murder of Mark Salvador. What do you think of Tay-K's legal situation? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.